All right, folks, um, another vlog about um, my month of being a vegan. Uh, this concerns sort of the aftermath from the races at the weekend. Now, obviously, I know I said in the other video that the races aren't the most ethically vegan thing to do. But as I said, I really committed to it. Didn't want to let friends down. Um, had a nice day out regardless. Um, this really concerns being hungover. <laughs> and um, obviously, gone out, had plenty of drinks, was a little bit worse for wear on the uh, the Sunday. Now, I'd had a good night's sleep because um, I'd actually sloped off to bed at 8 o'clock for a power nap. Um, but this resulted in me waking up the next morning at 9 o'clock, so a 13 hour power nap. Um, but yeah, the next morning, um, obviously I wasn't the worst because I had a good night's kip, um, had plenty of time to recover, got up, had loads of water, try and sort myself out. But the other guys was with my girlfriend and another couple whose house we'd stopped at. We all were a bit rough. So we obviously let ourselves settle down for a bit. Then went out, um, went to um, sort of the local shopping area and they wanted chippy. Obviously, it's a common thing. You're hungover, you want some easy, convenient food, a bit of starch, try and settle your stomach down. But I was like, no, I'm going to stick to my healthy food. Obviously, I know I could have had chips or anything like that. Um, chips made bad mushrooms, scallops. Um, I'm just getting hungry thinking about it. Uh, but I thought, no, I'm going to be. I'm going to stick to this, like, good food, vegan, um, as long as I can. So actually, day when I went to the chippy, I went over to Morrison's, um, spent, you know, five pounds, got a load of good fruit, um, some drinks, got some convenient food, got some um, bag of Doritos, but I think I needed something that was a bit more substantial than necessary with fruit. But I'm really proud of myself that I actually managed to stick to being, um, as we say, eating well. Um, obviously that was the aim of the, the whole vegan month, to eat better. Um, and I actually managed to stick to it, which I thought was really good. Um, obviously when I saw my girlfriend with chips and gravy, I was like, oh, that looks nice. Um, but I think that's just a, a natural thing for someone who, who's given up sort of, uh, should we say, normal food um, and unhealthy food about um, a week earlier, or well, not even that, five days earlier. So yeah, I think I had um, a load of strawberries, an apple, some bananas, stuff like that. A load of water. Um, I think I had some cherry coke to try and perk myself up a bit. Sugar and caffeine, always a good combination. I know caffeine's a stimulant and stuff, but I definitely needed some perking up. But yeah, I thought that was a, I'd, I'd done really well on that day. And uh, generally, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself every day that I stick to doing what I wanted to do. And, and that was really it, really. I think there are options to be had out there um like i said i think sort of commercial shops can be quite quite difficult if you're going out for meals and things like that um and having from sort of stalls i think that the, the, the choice can be quite limited but in sort of general everyday things if you, if you make a little bit of an effort you can do what you need to do to stick to the vegan lifestyle um or the sort of eating vegan and i think that's something that you need to go into it thinking of, thinking, what is my vegan option? If all your friends are having sort of, should say, the, the easy option of going to the Chippy or going to Burger King or going to KFC, Mackey D's, whatever it might be, what is my, my option? Um, and that's, if, as long as you've got the forethought to do that, then often you can find a way around the unhealthy foods. Um, and that's something I have stuck to. So, yeah, um, a week and a day or two days in, I'm waking to this is ninth day, um, and I've stuck to it, so we're going quite well.